Welcome to today's edition of the OPEX Minute, presented by EMS Consulting Group. Today we will be talking about the fishbone diagram, aka Ishikawa diagram or cause and effect diagram. The fishbone approach to brainstorming causes is a fundamental tool of operational excellence. This approach is important to avoid jumping down rabbit holes and to settle on one potential cause without considering others. To utilize a fishbone diagram, we must first define the problem correctly. At the head of the fish, we write down the problem. This is called the effect. Many times people write this as a why not question. For example, if the problem is that our production output is consistently less than planned, we might write why not meeting production plan. Next, we brainstorm categories or utilize standard categories such as machine, material, method, people, and measurement. We then have our team brainstorm potential factors or causes that result in the effect. Examples here might include things like machine breakdown under the machine category or material shortage under the material category. After the team brainstorms these categories and brainstorms the causes, the next step is to begin investigating typically through data collection. The team might select some causes based on ranking first, but after investigating, the goal would be to find out which are the top contributing causes and root causes. With a problem like failing to meet production plan, there are usually several top contributing causes and we would investigate each of the top ones. If you have an interest in learning more about the fishbone diagram, problem solving and root cause analysis, visit our website at www.emsstrategies.com and contact us. We would be happy to help.